Do you have a young family in need of a device the kids can use for early learning? A device you can use to check your emails and use to distract the kids with children's shows on the go. Maybe you don't have any children and that's okay and just need a device for the absolute essentials that can be used both online and offline. If any of that applies to you, this video might just be for you. Let's see those titles, shall we? Hi, my name is Ben, one of your product evangelists working with Microsoft here on Expert Zone UK and I. And in today's video, we're going to dive into Windows Lite used PCs. What are they? Who are they for? And should you be interested? These are all good questions. So let's not waste any time and get straight into it, shall we? If you've seen our previous videos from the series, we've looked at three other Windows collections. We've looked at performance PCs, which are for your productivity professionals. And also we've looked at high performance PCs, which are for your creative professionals for things like video editing, design work, in addition to high-end PC gaming. Then there's the everyday PC, which is for casual use and family planning. We have three videos covering these collections, so feel free to look if they are more relevant to you. Today, we're looking at the light use PC. These are Windows PCs that are designed for essential computing tasks. So things like email, browsing, and watching videos. They also make great early learning PCs as they are easy to use devices for children as young as five years old. So you can access their favorite kids' websites or download shows offline for viewing. What makes these devices so attractive is their incredible value for money. You typically find a light use PC for less than 300 pounds. This makes them a great choice for a second device around the home or for those who don't want to spend much on a PC that their kids might handle roughly. Now, that's a brief description, but to really get an idea what a light use PC is, we are going to look at three examples which we think are great options if you are looking to do any of the things as stated above. We will start things off with the HP Laptop 14S. This is an entry device designed for essential computing as reflected by its processor, an Intel Pentium Gold 7505 CPU, which is designed for situations we are discussing. The rest of the spec sheet screams value for money. The HP Laptop 14S has four gigabytes of RAM and more than enough for opening emails and browser windows at once. It also has 128 gigabytes of SSD storage, not only supplying enough storage for light use, but also super fast. Speaking of fast, you will also get up to nine hours of battery life with 50% of that chargeable in just 45 minutes. The HP Laptop 14S is a great entry into Windows computing with enough processing power to run light tasks and features that open you up to other possibilities, such as allowing you to do some cloud gaming on your laptop too. All you would need is a Bluetooth controller and an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription, and you are away and gaming. In addition to that, the HP Laptop 14S is packed into a very clean and simple design. Some of the HP materials also use various amounts of recycled plastic. And as a final bonus, you also have a cool full HD anti-glare screen so you can watch your favorite shows anywhere you want. Very nice. Next up, we have the ASUS E410. Now, it's worth mentioning that this laptop will either be on Windows 10 with a free upgrade to Windows 11 or Windows 11 out of the box. The key bit to mention is that this is Windows 11 Home in S mode. If you're not too sure what that is, S mode is a version of Windows 11 Home that you'll frequently find on light use PCs. It's the same Windows 11 you know and love, except 
it's got some extra policies in place that mean your apps need to come from the Microsoft Store. This is to ensure your PC maintains performance and gives additional protections by not allowing apps to be downloaded from your web browser, meaning you're less likely to download a nasty piece of malware. For most people, using a device for essential tasks, it is best to stay in S mode for the reasons stated above and mentioned. Though, if you want, you can switch out of S mode for free at any time. Just be aware that you can't switch back into S mode without a full reset. Back to the ASUS E410. It weighs just 1.3 kilograms, has a fun sense of style with yellow accents on some of the keys, and has a number pad that appears and disappears on the trackpad when you need it. You also get up to 12 hours of battery life. Overall, this is a fun little laptop that can get the job done for looking through emails and keeping kids entertained with their favorite shows. Last up, we have the Acer Spy One. You can get a few different variants of this laptop, but the one we are looking at is the 14 inch version powered by the Intel Celeron. This device comes with Windows 11 Home in S mode, features a 1080p full high definition display, plenty of ports, and has an ergonomic hinge which allows for more airflow to the bottom of the laptop when it sat on a table. We keep using the word essential in this video and this laptop ticks those boxes. It comes with all the essentials you need for simple tasks housed in a simple, easy to carry around design. With up to eight hours of battery life and 128 gigabytes of storage, if essential is what you need, you can't go wrong with the Acer Aspire One. That's three Windows 11 laptops we think are great examples of what a light use PC should offer. They have simple, clean designs, have enough power to do basic tasks, and are great for browsing the web, be it for early learning or online shopping. With that said, if you're shopping at the £300 price point and below, why Windows 11? Well, here's three reasons why Windows 11 is a great option. First up is search and Bing chat integration. On Windows 11, you can search for absolutely anything from the center of your taskbar. Need to find a missing file? Search for it. Want to open an app? Search for it. Now, how about a particular setting you are trying to find in Windows? That's right, search for it. Of course, you can also search the web which is where Bing Chat integration comes in. Once you've typed your search term, selecting the Bing icon will open up a chat with Bing. If you're unaware, Bing is your AI co-pilot for the web. You can ask complicated questions, go back and forth on answers. Bing is more than just a search engine. It's a tool that helps you find, learn, chat, and create. You can ask real questions and get complete answers chat with Bing and get Bing to generate content such as images, code, essays, or songs. Bing also has a beautiful and customizable homepage that shows stunning photos and news links. And there you have it, with search. You can find your files easily, then use Bing to ask any burning questions you might have or anything you might want to learn about. Next up is Windows security. One of the biggest misconceptions out there is that Windows isn't as secure as other platforms in this price range. Well, I'm here to tell you that simply isn't true. Windows security is pre-installed on all Windows 11 PCs and gives you antivirus, firewall protection, and much more. So from the moment you turn on your new Windows 11 PC, Windows is on guard. You can also use Windows Security to access links to family options. So, if you have multiple user profiles, including yourself and the kids, you can set parental controls so they aren't viewing websites they shouldn't be viewing, of course, and even set screen time limits so they aren't using their device when they should. 
be in bed. The last thing we'll talk about is how easy Windows 11 is to set up. It's something we can easily overlook sometimes, but Windows 11 has a completely refreshed setup experience, making it easier for you to log into your Microsoft account and also set up things like your Wi-Fi, activate Microsoft 365, all the things you need to get started with Windows. And there you have it. Today, we've had a look at Light Use Collection, a range of PCs that are designed with the essentials in mind. Things like emails, light browsing, early learning, things that don't require that much power and therefore can be performed on a light, thin, and great value device. One thing to remember is no matter what device you're looking at, if you've got the opportunity, you should go into store and try it out. It's great having an idea of what you might need and searching for something online. But if you really want to make sure you've made the right decision, visit a store that has one on display for you to try out. For now though, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you missed any of our previous collections videos, you should visit the playlist we've put together and subscribe for more videos here on Expert Zone UK and I. Catch you next time. Bye.